Hi everyone, I was actually working on 1.2.1 until LTX released their new model, which was supposed to be faster, much better, and there were also this guy that was messing up with everything. Anyway, we're back and I have like some really exciting things to show you. First things is a comparison between all the different models in 1.2.1, but also a comparison between 1.2.1 1, 2 .1, and LTX and we're gonna compare the image quality but also the processing time to generate this video they will all be based on the same shot to be able to compare Apple with Apple and also I wanted to compare those two open source model with a cloud-based model which would be Firefly Adobe let's jump into it Starting with Adobe Firefly 1.2.1 LTX. This includes an external shot to be able to compare Apple with Apple. And it's just an image that I generated using Config UI and Flux. So we are looking at like the image, the original image, and how the original image is actually changed into this zoom in into the building. The quality overall, as you can see, is really interesting and, and quite stunning. Um, the fidelity of from that original image that was done in Flux is quite stunning. Now let's jump in and compare with 1.2.1. So when we look at 1.2.1, it's actually quite impressive. The quality and the accuracy from the original image is maintained similar to Firefly and also the detail around the edges and the concrete elements is not quite carry on through but overall, it maintains the intent quite well and the zoom in, it works very well. Now looking at LTX, it's actually really good, but we sort of lose a bit of detail around the materiality and it's all a bit somehow blurry and it just doesn't feel as sharp as the other two. Okay, so now we're going to look at one in a bit more detail. We're going to look at the different med models. There's a lot of models out there and we're going to test a couple of them and we're going to test the workflow that I put together in Config UI. I will share that workflow with the patron. Basically, I just wanted to compare the results and see what is possible and how long it takes with the 4090. Now, if we look at um, one 2.1 with 480p in Q4, for here we have the first one is the basic one that takes sort of eight minutes to process. 24 frames for, with Q4. So it takes about a minute to add those frames. And then we have a 2K version with 24 frames with an extra three minutes to get 4Ks. Here we have a 720 with 16 frame, uh, which took like 26 minutes and this is sort of the extension of frames and then finally we have the upgrade to 4k in q4 and it took nine minutes to get 4k here we have the 720 in q8 16 frames which took about 40 minutes then we add the frames in between up to 24 frames and then finally here is the upscale to um, 4k which took about nine minutes, nine extra minutes. Now, honestly, I found the Q8, uh, 4K, 24 frames, quite stunning. The only thing is like it takes 50, about 50 minutes from, you know, 40 minutes for the generation, 30 to 40 minutes from my experience, uh, one and a half minutes to add the, the missing frame between 16 frame to 24 frames, and finally nine minutes to upscale to 4k which is okay but if you want to do some changes 40 minutes before you can see the result is quite long okay now let's talk about the elephant in the room here the generation time this is for me the major drawback with open source and running locally on your machine i mean you could potentially have run pod to run it but running on my 4090 is quite challenging because the, the generation time is quite long. It's about 30 minutes to generate an, a video. 
So when you get an output and you're not quite satisfied and you want to change the prompt, you pr change the prompt and then you wait for another 30 minutes, which is quite challenging. However, it's very impressive what can be done with a local machine. The cloud one usually take about five minutes to process so you can iterate through and test. And if the prompt is not quite working, you can always go back and forth. Whereas on the local, it's quite challenging. Having said that, I think there are some, some options. You can go with a lower version, for example, with a FP8. Um, so if you have like a good graphic card and you want to speed up the process, you could go with a lower quality version. But then again, like how do you get that compared to like a 720 or even what's on the cloud is just not comparable. Ideally, what I would like to do is being able to generate an, a video very quickly so maybe in 420 and then have amazing upscale that is able to take it up to the resolution that we can have in runway and firefly to be able to actually um, process this and i don't really mind waiting for it for this upscaler because if you if you know you've got the good video if you know the upscaler is going to take the results exactly and sort of increase the quality i don't mind if it's a half an hour to render it um, but what I mind is the iteration process so have smaller waiting time in the process get iterate and make sure that it's exactly what you want and then when you're happy with it you upscale it it's the way the workflow most of my workflow work with config UI for image generation where I try to get as many iteration as fast as possible when I'm happy with one specific iteration and I want to upscale it, I upscale it and then it takes a bit longer. But again, I know the results and I know what's coming up. As a last point, I just wanted to run you through the workflow I put here for this one. Um, it's a very simple workflow that I sort of already download from the community uh, with my prompt and I put the image here. Uh, so we need a, a, a load clip vision so I'll put the link to the models that you need for the image to video workflow and here I use a unit loader so I actually started with the FP8 which can be just used you can just use a diffusion model component but um, but I highly recommend the GGUF um, it's way more efficient and the quality is um, is much better and then we have our prompt here is a um, a clip a clip encoder here a clip model sorry um and we have our um vae so just i'm just going to put all the link to download them the size there is some recommended size um which uh, is sort of where the model is trained on um, and i would highly recommend to, to stay within those ones i'll put the the sizes on the screen um, and then here the length is the same so um, the frame rate for one is uh, 16 so I'll just follow sort of the, the 16 rates and then that's a five minute a uh, five second video steps between 20 and 30 steps um, and CFG um, usually between four and six you can keep it as Euler or you can also use um, the uni pc um the two of them are quite quite good so highly recommend those sort of settings and then here i also have an interpolation to actually add frames in between um using the one format and then a reef uh, vfi to get um, the extra extra frame so we go now from 16 to 24 um and then after that, we have the upscaler. Um, and again, I found the upscaler good um, time four, but it's not quite at the level that um, I'm hoping for. And this one is actually gone. So it's just, it's just those components. Um, and then it's the same frame rate. And then just the model have like, yeah, more, more frames in between. So 24 and then you upscale everything and it takes about depends but it takes about like you know 10 minutes for a q8 to process so i've got all the, the time before um 
But yeah, that's that's the workflow for one. So a fairly simple workflow. I'll share that with uh, my Patreon. And uh, there's another one as well, which is basically um, LTX, um, which is, you know, I'll put the link below in the description, but you just need to make sure that you update your config UI before you try any of those models because there's a lot of new components and new elements so here um it's the 0 0.95 is the latest one um so i have also the 0 0.91 that was previous one um yeah and then i think i didn't change anything i just downloaded this model and i kept the default uh workflow that they were sort of recommending i haven't sort of explored much uh in terms of settings um, so I just ran it out of the box, but I think I want to spend a bit more time with this one because it's super fast. So I want to see if there is, um, if I can do some, some tweaks in the settings. And then here, that's just the same upscaler. So I like to have it as a separate element. So it's not linked. So I can load any video and then I just can upscale it. But again, I think I would love to see the same as what we have as an upscaler for, um, for, for image in flux where you really have um, the ultimate sort of uh, upscaler that just allows you to, to get more detail and more sharpness into your image. And also finally, I just wanted to touch base a bit on, on this. So when you're gonna have the link to download, I just put all my model for one model, I put them under my diffusion model and then I separate them into text to video and then image to video just to keep it nicely organized. So as a, when we download the model I2V is image to video and if I look at text is T2V, it's um, text to video. Um, 3 billion parameters, I tried it and I was very <laughs> disappointed so I don't, I wouldn't even bother uh, downloading it. Um, I think I delayed them from the image to video. Um, the 14B is, is definitely the best. And then if you can go into like, you know, the 480, depend on your, on your graphic cards. Uh, but I heard that sort of the 14B, um, 480 in Q4 up to Q6 can work on the six gigabyte of VRAM. So, which is quite, quite exciting um, but again it, it might take some time to, to to process but if you have those cards and you want to comment below I would be I would love to know like how long it takes to generate a uh, video and if you get a good graphic cards and you're happy to wait I would highly recommend the 720q80 which is you know the one that I used and I was the most satisfied with so to conclude, I think in terms of quality and open source, one is 2.1 is coming out of the blue. Like it's just amazing. If you sort out the timing for iterating and then get a better control over the camera, it's just going to be something that can definitely replace a cloud-based solution. Upscaling would be the next step and then speed up on the iteration and camera movement and one will be out there. And when I say I'm scaling, it's quite interesting because it feels like it's the same as like the video I've done about um, image upscaling. One of the upscale would just change the resolution, but it wouldn't enhance the quality of the image or the quality of the video. And I feel like so far the, the models, the upscaler model that I use for videos, they were doing this. They were increasing the size of the image and increasing the size of the video, but they weren't enhancing it. So I found one way to, to do it and would be like on using like cloud uh, based solution where you can actually upscale your video and then there is an enhancer. And I'm looking forward for that part in Config UI because I think this is sort of what's missing at the moment. There's a lot of models coming up, which are amazing. Then it, again, the quality having just this amazing upscaler would just makes a huge difference and i'm confident that it will come very shortly in the future now talking about speed obviously the ltx model is 
insanely fast. I mean, 20 seconds to render a video from an image in 768 by 512 is blow minding in terms of speed. And I am just amazed. And there are more workflow that I want to test. So they obviously have text to, to video, they have image to video, but they also have start frame and end frame. Uh, workflow and configure you can try so I think it's very exciting what's coming in this um, realm in this area I mean 20 seconds I mean again I'm talking in 48 40 90 but if you use like a graphic card that means that if you your graphic cards got only an 8 gigabyte of VRAM you probably can run it in a okay time it might take you like a couple of minutes but it's super fast so if you imagine about that evolution i mean if the quality of ltx would increase a bit or if there would be like good upscale that will be able to to get to enhance that quality it would be perfect It'd be really really impressive so it's an exciting time i think for image to video and in config ui and i'm looking forward for the new update i will keep you posted and i will do a lot of video about it thanks again for watching i appreciate your support if you like this video please like it if you want to subscribe subscribe um and if you want more of this content uh, and you're interested about the content you can be part of my patreon and you get access to all the workflow from all the videos and also support the, sh the channel a lot so thanks a lot again and i see you in the next video Ciao.